There's Howard. Spider-Man. Howard, you and the pigeons okay? Oh, uh, we're getting by. Would you like to join us? Of course. How can I help? Sometimes I just sit here, take it all in. Fairies coming in. See it? There it is. You and the birds taking a trip? Think I'll skip this one. Wait for the next. Used to love the ferry. Felt like I was sailing off on an adventure. Howard? See that yellow skipper? With the black bottom? And that ride's got style. Honey of a boat. Wish I could take that bumblebee out for a spin. Hey, Howard? Ride it all the way across the river to those three pillars. An ancient city hidden in the clouds. Ancient city? You lost me, Howard. Over to the right. Look for the red lights. I see them. Three smokestacks. But why? I worked in that factory for 20 years. Laid off. Lost my purpose for a while. And then when my wife passed, I lost my heart too. But my birds, they taught me how to fly again. Especially little Pidgey. Howard, I'm here for you. Last one. Can you spot Lady Liberty herself? She's way over to the left. That's her, all right. What? Huh. That's the flock. I need your help, Spider-Man. I'm finally going on an adventure. But I want to set my bird free first. Let him see the world outside this city. NYC is the best place in the world for pigeons, Can you though? take them up north for me? Somewhere peaceful? But they need you, Howard. It's their time. Try a whistle. You got it, Howard. Let's fly! Just stay by the water. I'll think of a spot soon. Battery Park! You can poop on anything and anyone there. Nothing you all haven't seen before, though. We'll keep going. You get a nice view on top of the Brooklyn Bridge. I love BK. This isn't the right home for y'all. That sea breeze looks strong. Let's pick up some speed. Woo hey, Pidgey, hit us with a bear roll. Yeah, buddy. What about the woods near Queens? Ma took me there all the time back in the day. It was like a hidden oasis. Sounds like a good place to be a bird. Oh wow, a regatta! Howard would love that! Don't worry, birds! We're almost at your new home! <laughs> Y'all feeling our web wings? <laughs> Thanks for the inspiration.
I'm gonna miss chasing you birds all over New York. place for my babies to be free? Thought of a place over in Queens. My mom showed it to me when I was little. Lots of nature and space for Pidgey and friends. That sounds nice. Thanks. Not many folks have been kind to me in my life. Anytime, Howard. It's a new borough, but it's still close enough for you to visit. I'll get this bird settled and be right back. Howard? Hope y'all like the new digs. Well, that was a workout. Whew. I'll catch the next train. Gotta make sure Howard's okay. Can't be easy when the birds leave the nest. Oh. Howard? Oh, hey, Spider-Man. Sorry. Howard was a friend. Take all the time you need. If it helps, um... It looked like he was at peace. It does. He's on a new adventure now. And his wife's with him. Don't worry, Howard. The flock is free. Perfect for Robbie. <laughs> Looks like everyone's okay. Honestly, some days it feels like getting into an accident here is a rite of passage. where everyone's comfortable calling out when something's wrong. People here sure hate admitting when they're wrong. Hey, Mr. Robertson. The photo went through? I try to close my submissions out with a banger. You can call me Robbie, Miles. And yeah, it's fantastic. But I'm a bit surprised you're stopping now since you left out two of the biggest parts of New York. The Spider-Man. You really think so? Everything I see in these photos. All the stories and history and life. None of it would still be here if it wasn't for the Spider-Man. I hope they know that. They probably forget it sometimes. But I think they do. Well, thanks for the photos, Miles. You're a natural at this. That means a lot. Thanks, Robbie. EMF kiosk. Thanks, Miles. Hello. 
Hello, Peter. As you can see, these cassava plants are alive and quite hardy, but grow too slowly for food production. We want to hybridize them with a more productive variety and would welcome your help. Cassava plants growing too slowly, huh? Better head to ESU. A professor there just discovered a new variety that grows impressively fast. They'd make a great hybrid. Their rare variety of the Asian cassava plant grows like crazy, and I'll only need a single leaf to splice with ours. The professor is always looking for practical applications. She'll be super into doing a collab. No, someone stole the cassava? I've got to track down the thieves before they get too far. Maybe there are some traces of pollen still in the air. Got it. Glad this plant is a wind pollinator. It releases so much pollen, I can see the path they took. Now let's see where these pilfering plantsmen went. There it is. That's like a rock star plant with all that security. I've got something to plant! My fist in your face! I need this plant for an experiment to help feed New York, if that means anything to you. No? Really? I'll rip your limbs off, spider! What kind of plant is this? I think it's called the back to jail plant! Get out of my way! Where is that plant? You couldn't have walked far. All right, buddy. One quick stop at feast, and then we'll get you back home. Glad we nipped this nefarious plant in the bud. See what I did there? Yeah, I knew you would. Okay, now to borrow a bit of your super special genetic material to help your cousins grow faster. Okay, so we want some extra growth genes from our guest plant. There he is! Huh? Oh no, you're not touching that! That plant must be really special to you! It did that machine thingy! Spider! Oh! Spider! Jeez. So smart! Did I say that? We just followed you! Look up! Look up! Whew. Let's try that again. Let's see. And there we go. The plant will be secure in this workbench until ESU can buff up their greenhouse security. The feast will really be able to improve their crop yield with these new hybrids.
That's a lot of nesting boxes. Peter, thanks for your help here. As before, we're training the drones to identify predators like rats and beetles so they can guard the bees' nesting boxes. Okay, let's get things booted up. Time for target practice. Bodyguards, Queen's Edition, giving new meaning to Queen's Bee. Good one. These are Queen's Bees, but not to be confused with Queen's Bees. Rat attack, rat. Unidentified predator detected. Uh-oh, what's that? You better go check that out. after the nests, trying to eat the bees. Aha, Neuropody albicollis, a white-throated bee-eater bird. It's right there in the name. I need to shoo this bird back to wherever it came from. I wonder if this drone has a real-world mode. Cool. Now I can really encourage this bird to get going. Perfect. This is enough to annoy the bird, but not hurt it. If I can find out where it came from, I can see if there are others. Hey, bird! I can't follow you if you don't move. Get going! It's giving you a little push. Mush! Mush, birdie! Keep it moving, buddy. Gotcha, birdie! Can't have you eating up the bees of queens, or the queen bees. Huh, so this is your home. You must have escaped from here and gone out for a snack. Doors propped open. Better close it before you escape again. Got it. Okay, I think I'm done for now. The drone will pilot its way back to home base in no time. I'm not sure bee-eating birds are a citywide threat, but I'll mention it to Dr. Young. We should definitely program the drones to look for outliers like that. No, I left my backpack around here somewhere. All right. Hey, Miles, what's up? Hey, good to see you. I can't believe Mr. Atlas is gonna be here at BV. Maybe one of those scholarships has my name on it. Morales, looking fresh. Thanks. You too.
New reproductive technologies are on the horizon. Check it out on this brochure. We've got preventative contraception information. Please consult your parents and your primary care physician. They'll help you find what's right for you. Yes, those are free. Remember to stay safe. Glad we have people on campus who know about these things. Miles, glad you made it. Oh, hey, Mr. Sinclair. Oh, hmm. I just love seeing all this innovation in action. Oh, have you heard about the chemistry club? They're filling in while Miss Ferguson gets ready to demo the new robotics drone. She's running late. Presentation's on the main stage. Oh, yeah. I'll try to make it over there. Enjoy the show. Thanks. See you around. Morales, the music master. What's up, Delisai? You here to see that university rep, Mr. Atlas? Yeah, definitely. Nice astronomy booth. Thanks. You should stop by later. I made a 3D model of Saturn, but get this. <laughs> it's cake! I'll save you a slice. Hmm, thanks. to him about that computational physics program. We got your missing person report half an hour ago. What happened? That's just it. We don't know. She left to get something from her car and then never came back. I just heard two words, missing in person. So I'm gonna say yes. Go ahead. We'll save your seat. I gotta catch up to the principal. Maybe I could find out more. I can't leave until I figure out what's going on with the missing person. Do you have any of her personal items? Yeah. She left her phone on. Is it unlocked? Have you seen any? Here we go. Just some notifications from her fitness tracker. It's counting her steps, wherever she is. <sighs> the students adore Miss Ferguson. I hope she's all right. Please find her. We'll do our best. Miss Ferguson's missing. Oh, man. Sounds like she's still wearing her fitness tracker. Wonder if I could find that signal. All right. Let's see where this fitness tracker is. Last known location, Dawson Harbor. Beginning text-to-speech call with Haley Cooper. Miles, Mr. Atlas just got here. ETA? Oh, man. Gotta find Miss Ferguson first. Be there when I can. 
He's handing out scholarship applications right now. Uh, can you get one for me? I'll do better than that. Sent you a link. Thanks. Good luck. And hurry. Hey, yo, Miles. What's up, Genki? Can this wait? Not really. I've got Mr. Atlas here. I told him how you were missing the bear for volunteer work. And he asked for a phone call with you. Is uh, now a good time? Thanks, Genki. He won't take now us is down. definitely not a good time. Here he is, Mr. Atlas. I know you've got a flight to catch. Genki! Hi, is that Miles? Uh, yeah. Hello? You're whispering. Yeah. Is now a bad time? Uh, no! Sorry, gotta go. Um, I'll call you later. Or email. That could have gone better. Maybe I can make it back to BV in time to meet Mr. Atlas in person. Clarify some things. All right. With those guys out of the way, let's see where that tracker signal is. The signal's coming from... There she is. This glass looks pretty breakable. Well, we'll have to do this the hard way. I got you. Are you okay? I'm fine. But who are these people? How do they know I work for Rand? Let's figure that out when we're not in the hostage situation. Time to squad, Spider. Dead Spider-Man. He's ours. You hide. I've got these guys. <laughs> involves kidnapping. How am I supposed to let that slide? I don't believe it. You took them out by yourself? It's in my job description. Ready to go? Are you going to carry me? Sure. I've carried people before. As long as I can get verbal confirmation that if I throw up on you, you won't sue me. <sighs> Consider this confirmation. <sighs> Thanks to Spider-Man, our treasured teacher, Miss Ferguson, is back with us safe and sound. To show our gratitude, it is my honor to declare Spider-Man the official hero of Brooklyn Visions. <laughs> you are always welcome here, Spider-Man. Thank you. And now, back to the Quan. We've got a robotics demonstration to do. Not much time. Hi, Miles. I appreciate your dedication to interviewing, but I could tell you were clearly busy with something important. Mr. Sinclair put in an excellent word for you, as did Principal Evans. So, let's do this right, and meet this week on campus, in person. Got a few app requests popping up on BB's campus. Thought I'd call you directly. <coughs> oh man, I can't do this alone. <laughs> 